Well, good evening, Bear Nation. We'd like to welcome you back for the 2023 Bladewater Bear football season. Uh, we're in the second week of the season, actually. Uh, the Bears traveled to Dangerfield last week and uh, got beat in their opener, 53-32. to 32. Uh, At halftime, that score was 20-19. to 19. And uh, Bears were actually 37 uh, underdogs. And so uh, we, we had hopes there that we'd come out top. And then uh, Dangerfield... Uh, was really a very talented team, and so they're going to play well, I'm sure, for their season. Bears ended up uh, on the side of the stick the first game, 53. They're doing the toss right now, and it looks like the Mount Vernon Tigers will receive, and uh, Bears, their captain's coming back to the sideline. Five, and I think it was six, eight, one. Good to see you. Sorry about that, Sam. We'll check and make sure we're good. I uh, just want to uh, remind everybody that we have zero control over the camera. So this thing, to get technical, is four cameras. It uses those four cameras as one gigantic image. It pans between all four of those images to give what you see. So, right now. so something that we talked about, the cameras use AI, which is artificial intelligence. And you see a lot of that in the news these days. <laughs> so, uh, so it is intelligent, but remember it's artificial intelligence. So it might mess up and it can't say, I'm sorry. So, uh, so we we'll apologize for it. This yeah, time. We'll, we'll apologize in advance. No more computers for you. But uh, we're lined up. The Bears are going to uh, kick off from the south end to the north end. And the Tigers will receive. So we're about ready to crank up our first home game of this new young season. There's the kick, it's a, it's a pooch kick down to the 46 yard line, number 24 for the Tigers, catches the ball, uh, Posada is his last name, he's a sophomore. Abraham Posada. And uh, so, Bear defense is on the field, Mount Vernon has the ball on the left hash, 46 yard line, approaching midfield toward uh, the Gladewater Bears. So we have gotten a break in the, the heat. It's still hot. It's just not as hot. Mount Vernon has the quarterback under center. Got three backs, wide receivers on both sides. He hands it off to number 10. And he is still running. Run out of bounds just inside the 30 yard line. And that is Dawson Witherspoon. And uh, I made a mistake. That was not the quarterback under center. They had a up back really tight up there, and they snapped deep. So the quarterback is deep. Um, they're inside the 30, first 10. Snappy hands it off up the middle. That one didn't go as far. That one did not go not to stop. Need my binoculars out to get the numbers. And uh, I think I think that's about a two-yard gain. Be oh, I'm sorry, it's back to the line of scrimmage. So they're moving now. They had moved down a lot. And uh, so it was about a two-yard gain. Deep snap again. One setback. Seven is your back. He's throwing. Little hitch, number two. Hitch pass out to number two, wide on the right side. And he runs down inside the 15. Number two, that was Mitchell Nozard, I guess you 
aired. Maybe. Who's aired? So I, we'll go ahead and apologize early on here. <laughs> if we yes. mess up pronouncing uh, someone you like or are kin to, uh, you'll just have to bear with us. Sometimes we get corrected while we're on there and sometimes not. So deep snap again. And uh, number 10, uh, who is Dawson Witherspoon, runs to the left side. He picks up a couple, maybe three yards. That's going to bring up a, I believe, a second and five, like second and six, we'll call it. So number 14 and number two are split out to the left. And they have a wide receiver split to the right. And Takes it to 10 again, Sam up the middle. And he goes up the middle. Number 22 wrapped him up. Was that enough? So he's he stopped by Travian Watts just short of the goal line. And they're going with a quick no huddle. Ball is snap. Another run with 10, and he is in. And so Dawson Witherspoon scores the first uh, touchdown of the game, Mount Vernon. And number 13 is coming on to kick. For 13 is Wesley Salinas. So the Tigers snap, kick is up, and it is good. So our score with uh, 9.56 left in the first quarter is the Tigers 7, Bears 0. Bears will be anticipating their first uh, kickoff and get a shot at their offense to see what they can do. So the kickoff return team, Bladewater, is coming on the field. Uh, the Tigers talking to their kickoff team over the sideline just inside the field. Well, I just got a confirmation from Dell who can't be here tonight. The audio is sounding good, so that's wonderful. That's good. Thank you, Michelle. You know, it's not as bad weather-wise as it could be. You know, the sun's already off the field. You can sit in the background. It's already off the field. Watch says it's about 88 degrees outside. Been worse. So Tigers with a short kick. And it's caught by number three. And I guess he did a fair catch on that. Turn. So uh, JT Maddox, who got some good runs last week, uh, catches the ball. And uh, Bear offense takes the field. Some starters. We know Kyron Wilson is the quarterback and also a captain. The front line you've got. You know, 21 is in. Carson Cooper. He's the lone setback. They run it to him. He's over the left side, cuts it back, and he picks up the first down and gets just across the 40 to the 41. A little counter tray type Washington Redskin play. <laughs> And uh, and he gets he gets a nice little run out of that. So hey, what are they called now? No, they're the Redskins. <laughs> you call them Commandos if you want. They're the, they're the, <laughs> the, the Cowboys. They're still the Redskins. But now it's uh, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. got a Is free going play. Forward? What's going on? I guess they blew it dead. So we had uh, one of the Mount Vernon Tigers jump, make contact. Uh, Wilson goes ahead and throws the ball out to his left, uh, and they pick up a yard or two, but I think they would rather have the five from the offsides. But I, it looks like oh, it's going to be against Mount Vernon. Yes, he's stepping it off now. So it's still going to be first down, but it will be first and five at this point. So whenever you said it's a free play, so – Technically, if you could have made seven yards, you could go, I oh, forget it, I'll take my seven. Yeah, but now if they blew it dead. Oh, then it doesn't matter. It's not a free play, it's dead. But if they didn't blow it dead, then you get a free play. And then uh, 
you have a choice to take the play or take the penalty. So Bears again. This time Wilson fakes the ball. It looks like a fumble, but they're calling it, it down. His knees were on the ground. Yeah. So it was a little option type play, and uh, Wilson kept the ball. And on the tackle, he hit the ground. The ball came loose. So uh, you know that the ground cannot cause a fumble. Uh, uh, good break for the Bears that they hang on to the that was ball. Hot defense. So, other starters, uh, Brayson Woods is lined up wide to the right. And we'll call others out as, as we get them for you. It's an under. He takes the snap. He hands it off to uh, Carson Cooper again. Maybe, what, two yards or one? He picks one. up uh, a couple... Yeah, probably a couple. Looks like about a third and three. We're right at the midfield. Uh, we've also got number 50 in uh, at the right tackle. That's Mason Boudreaux. Security call out 53. There are still. No, 53 is Mason Thompson. All right, there's the snap. Car, uh, Carson Cooper. As again, he's a little short of the first down, but he is across midfield to the nine into Mount Vernon territory. That's going to bring up a fourth and fourth and one. And uh, knowing Coach Levere like I do, uh, he is uh, go. He's going to go for it. So uh, not always, but I think across midfield, that's kind of a given. Especially this early in the game. Big question is well, different enough to get that not first the same down because he got more than he already needed. So he gets down inside the 45 and they'll spot the ball right at the 43 yard line of Mount Vernon. And so uh, Carson picks up a nice first down. There. Yeah, I'm not the stats guy like. Um, guy who was in the uh, oh, or, or uh, was it done? Blackwater has two wide receivers oh, oh. to the home side. They got two backs, an eye formation tied in on the other side. Let's see what they got. Change of play. Might be a throwing down now. And they throw it out to number, number three, three JT, JT Maddox, Maddox. And he picks up. Uh, I'm going to call it about four. So inside the 40 down to about the 39-yard line. Little hitch screen uh, with uh, the other wide receiver as the blocker. And uh, he picks up good yardage on that play. So it's second and scoreboard says second and five. It's really second and <laughs> six. Two wide receivers, eye formation. And Cooper carrying the ball again. He's got the first down. Ball's going to be down to about the 32. So Cooper getting uh, a lot of carries uh, after getting some carries last week. I, I miss getting some numbers of the defensive team. Those Mount Vernon Tigers on this bench drive. So I can give those guys a good shout out. They're all working hard. Back in an eye formation, two wide receivers, and he throws it out to his left. Three again. And it's JT, JT Maddox, Maddox. And he is down. He stepped out at about the just inside the 18 yard line. They're going to mark it about the 18 or 17. Yeah, that's he's, gonna he, be a, he's on the 18. That's going to be another first down. And he had a long run last week against Dangerfield and got got tackled just before he got to the five yard line. Wins to the right, high formation. Like something. Tigers uh, faking the blitz with their inside linebackers. Like an audible call. And it's it's the same little hitch pass. Up a different receiver. This time we've got zero, Brayson Woods. And Brayson, same little hitch screen, Brayson. Takes it in for a touchdown. 
And that will put the Bears on the scoreboard with six points. And uh, see if they go for one. Looks like I see a guy coming in with a T. But I don't know. He might just be. Oh, he's got a T. It is number 15 of the Bears, Grafton Morgan. Morgan. So number five, uh, Frank Sierra is holding, balls down, kick is up, and it is good. So that gives us at five minutes and 19 seconds left in the first quarter, that gives us a tie ball game, seven to seven. And at this pace, be a very high scoring night. This is probably going to be one of those where it's like if you miss one, get one bad call on you, it could ruin it. It could. So You'll be down just one touchdown and not be able to recoup. Of course, you know, last week early in the game, it, it looked like even though there were two good teams playing, Dangerfield uh, made some first game mistakes, as did Gladewater. Um, not to be critical, but uh, our defense held, and then they'd, they'd miss a tackle and there'd be a big play. So uh, we had our share of first game moments as well. But uh, overall at halftime last week, it was 19 to 20 in favor of oh, wow. the Tigers. So uh, we got some more Tigers this week. <laughs> so the Bear kickoff team, ball is teed up in the middle of the field on the four-yard line. And they're spreading out now. Vernon spreads. Again, Grafton Morgan. So last time it was just kind of a little pooch kick over here about to the 7. Let's see where he kicks it this time. And same place. And number 27 calls for a fair catch, then bobbles the ball, and uh, uh, JT Maddox ends up with a tackle, but he really wasn't going. So the 27, that was uh, Scott's. Tigala. Okay. Tigala. Tigala. Yeah, that's how I would say that, Avon. I'm, I am terrible with that stuff. So, uh, Tigers take over. Ball just inside the 40-yard line. Knows of it's touching the 40. They come out with two wide receivers right, quarterback set deep, and two running backs inside of there. Split receiver the home side. And it's a deep snap to the quarterback. He hands off to number 10 on a sweep. And uh, we really had him about three yards deep in the backfield. and uh, Like our number seven. And he got loose. And uh, Latrell Henderson. So number 10 was the ball carrier then. Dawson, Dawson Witherspoon. And he scored their first touchdown. So they're, they're running quick tempo. They flipped Boy, their they formation. Are. And now it's a run and up again, the middle. Up the middle. Same thing. Not going through that bare but, line. Uh, he's met, probably got, gets a yard gain on that play up the middle. So now there'll be a receiver, two receivers to the home side. Oh, no, they're switching up. Number 14 is still in the game. Boogie Mitchell. And so two wide receivers to the short side of the field. Running back steps to his right. Snap, it's a handoff, and it's a sweep back to the wide side of the field. Bears number 11 and 36. Number 11 is Luke Brown. And 36 is... Uh, Tristan Collins. Collins. Tristan Collins, yes, sir. So, uh, no gain on that play. In fact, they lost about a half a yard. So, now there are two receivers to each side of the field, two wide that receivers. That put them back on the line of scrimmage? Is that what I'm saying? Yes, that's what we're saying. One setback. Looks like he's getting a signal from the sideline. And it is a pass. And the pass is completed. The number two of the Tigers, Mitchell, Mitchell Newsard. And there. defending on that play was and our number Newsard. seven, uh, Latrell Henderson. Had good coverage, tackled him immediately. Uh, so now they're with a hurry up, two wide receivers to each side, and they throw a little hits like we just scored on. And Same one, number two of the Tigers. And he is met there by 
I think number seven again, uh, Latrell Henderson knocks him out of bounds. So they gained about eight yards. So they're second and two about the 13 yard line. Sorry, 17 yard line. So going down again, everybody spread. And he overthrows Ooh. number 14, uh, Boogie, Boogie Mitchell. Mitchell. So incomplete. That stops the clock with three minutes left. Four still 7-7. Seven, seven. Brings up a third and two. So number 13 for the Tigers goes out. Wesley Salinas. So now there's two wide receivers to our side, one up high to their side. Ends it off the 10, going up the center. And pushes through, it looks like. He makes some yards, but he does get a first down, but they are on the, looks like just outside the 10 on about the 20 line. So they, sure. they can make a first down without scoring. Now they're all getting their play called. Tigers line up. Wide receivers on both sides. Set back. And Off the number 10 again. He's going left, Sam. And he's got room. And he is hit. Hit but in. By number 36, Kristen Collins finally brings him down. He had one other guy on him. I couldn't get that number. That pull up as a touchdown? Did it no. not? Uh, no. It looked like he was in. No, but it's it's a first and goal from the one. So I'm sure they're going to hand it to him again. They did. Same play to the and left. And he's in there that time. Just off to the left side going over the left guard tackle. And so with 216 left in the first quarter, we're now 13 for the Mount Vernon Tigers. Seven for the Gladewater Bears. And we're waiting, and they're lined up. Their number 33 is their their kicker, and he he makes it. And so that is we're 14 to seven now. 33 was Edgar Munoz. So uh, Tigers, 216 left in the first quarter, have a 14 to seven lead. With the Bears about to get the ball back, um, we've we've really just had the one possession, had a drive, <laughs> had a good drive, with and uh, so uh, that that was uh, for them. That was about a sixty-yard drive, and it burned up about uh, not much past five minutes. Was it about six minutes or so? Five minutes. Five, okay, so. So close to a four or five minute drive, something like that. So uh, Munoz has got the ball teed up. Bears have two deep at the ten yard line, and then they're going to try for some forty kick. Uh, I don't know. They just kind of pooched it there. It's not a deep kick, but we got a fair catch. Again, called by Frank Sierra this time. And the ball is going to be spotted at the Bears' own 25. They'll take over with a fresh set of downs. And uh, see, now now last week, the Bears uh, did run the ball well at times. And their throwing game looked improved from last year. Uh, we had a, had a couple of touchdowns. Uh, I think touchdown passes or that were close to set them up, but uh, now the Bears are in one back, quarterback under center, two backs. I see the full back up there. That is that's not Cooper Eight, this time. No, that, I believe it's twenty-eight. Correct, twenty-eight. That is Jeremiah Flanagan. So Flanagan. Uh, that 28 yes yes sir so has a nice carry uh the tigers blitz that time and the guy that got through missed him by a half an inch yeah. what was it on get smart missed it by that much yeah and so <laughs> it was a nice gain probably about a six yard gain bring second four. Oh, number eight that was a quick handoff 
The Bears, number eight, to Braden Polly. Brandon is played fullback last week, and uh, he hits that little quick hitter. And sometimes, you know, we saw last year they they run a long time on that. Did, sometimes yeah. they slip through there so quick. But he is starting at the Couple fullback position, and now. JT Maddox goes back to the left side of the offense and uh, looks like we have that uh, number. Back? Down here. No. Yeah, that's number two. Oh, oh. So we had Carter Schneider, uh, and I think they were fixing the throw to him. He was the wide receiver on the bottom of your screen. And uh, uh, Tyron Wilson got, uh, he got tackled for Get yeah, whenever you're yeah. using binoculars, that's all I got to see. I so can see the bottom. Cooper coming back in, and uh, Flanagan coming out. Two, still your wide receiver right. JT Maddox, number three, still wide left. And this time, I'm telling you, they're, they're sending. That was number 23 six, on the Tigers. And that was number also number six that came through. Boone Morris up to number 23. Number six blitz from his position. Almost out of time. So we're down to three, two, one second. Now we're first quarter's over. So uh, Bears will kind of regroup. It's going to be a. Third and 14. I mean, that's quite a drive. So. Uh, Yeah, they're moving the chains right now. So, Bladewater now will be on the north end, defending the north end, and headed toward the big scoreboard to try to score. And uh, and then the Tigers will obviously be defending the south end. Last that week, because of the temperature, Avon, they did kind of like a, a commercial timeout on the TV games. And it was for the players, but it was mainly for the officials because they're not in in as good a shape as the players but they would just during the if, if there was a natural stoppage of the clock and they needed it they would just take three minutes and everybody just rest a minute get some water hydrate. Oh, yeah. yeah it's a little bit harder for those guys to say give me a drink where a player gets a lot more right off and on and all right, so here we are. Ball is on the 31-yard line. Gladewater's on 31. They got two wide receivers to the bottom, right, wide receiver to the top. Shotgun formation, and he runs it. I'm trying to see if they snap that to Wilson. No, that, that was, uh, yes, to Kyron Wilson. So he just lines up uh, deep in the backfield, and uh, – they snap it directly to him, and he gets some of that yardage back, uh, picks up about four, but now it's fourth and ten, and it looks like the Bears will punt the ball from the 35-yard line. And number 15, oh, that's a high snap. High snap, he gets it away. Not a long kick, but it gets a good Gladewater roll and goes out. Across the 50 at about the 40, no, 40, 41 or 2. Now, so, well, it, oh, no. it, it is. It's going to be the 43, I think. Yeah, so 43-yard line, not a great kick, but they make uh, 20, 22 yards on it. So uh, better than turning it over on that 35 Absolutely. Line. So we'll see. Uh, I, I, Mount Vernon has, has run the ball well. Uh, they may oh, just well, keep okay. handing it to number 10, but uh, they've thrown it too. So we'll see what they want to do this five for them of the second. Oh. Yes. I'm trying to get uh, some of the defensive starters. I've got number 11 from Bladewater, Luke Brown. And uh, I've got uh, two, Landon Brown. 
and uh, got 36 that we won't be uh, called his name Tristan Collins we got uh, let's see 34 uh, Dion Patton playing defense right now number three JT Maddox is in and we've got number 22. Uh, well, look at all the receivers. Watts. Boy, they're loaded. They got trips to this side and a fourth wide receiver to the top. Back. They're in zone coverage. He throws it to the running back coming out of the backfield. Mm. And he is hit. He's hit in, at the 42, but it's about the 30, 32 before they get him driven out of bounds. That's so about he, where it was. Well, it's actually about the 34. About that far. So they're back to about where Gladewater punted from with a new first down. Oh, they do a quick. Their their tempo is very fast. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen, two to the top. Throws this a looks little... like a. Oh, back. great play oh, wow. by number three, and zero. JT Maddox and Brayson Woods. They hit number two, who is uh, Mitchell. Who's aired? News aired. And uh, and just knocked sure the ball aired. loose, yeah. So great defense by the Bears that time. Um, so they've again got 15 and 2 for the Tigers to our sideline. Two receivers up to the top. Number 10 is the setback and uh, the quarterback standing back there side by side. And it's a throwing down, and he's throwing across the middle. And again, JT Maddox, the receiver, was number two. Uh, Mitchell and uh, JT really plays well, uh, stays with his man and breaks the pass up coming across the middle. Uh, I don't know where the safety went, but he should have had a little free safety help from the inside out there. And uh, so now we're third and 10, and now they bring number 15 out to this side. No, this is a different quarterback for them. Before they ran quarterback seven, if I remember correctly, yes. this is quarterback number nine, which is Ford Johnson. So it's another. Oh, he Whoa, slips he down. Whoa, he was on the ground, and he gets the ball away. I, they're calling uh, him down. I yeah, think. Yeah, I think he hit his knee before he let yeah, that so, ball go. So it's number nine. Number nine, uh, Cord. He he slips down. I don't know Left as he as he threw it or just trying to plant, but uh, they call him. Call him down, I think. Possible for the refs to make him. I mean, I know that perfect, but they possible they made a mistake and went, we're not 100% because well, they'd we, already blew the game. The, well, we, we call that. Oh, oh, he's got pressure. Number nine is scrambling. He's running for run, it. And he is stopped. By 21 and Whitewater Baron number three, 21. Team Maddox. Is Carson Cooper? So Carson playing both sides. We of the get, ball. We get that. Uh, uh, yes, that was fourth and ten, and ten. And but they were on the what twenty-five yard line or so, so they went for him. Uh, well, they weren't that deep. That was where they had to get to. Uh, but uh, that Blackwater had good pressure initially. Uh, and also they stopped, I think, the second play with that pass. Yes, and, uh, and then really he ran defense. to the weak side where we had everybody drop back to pass, and they came up, and we had three guys on him popping. So Gladewater with the ball now. They have one wide receiver to home side and two wide ones up top of the screen, and Wilson's throwing, and it's a little bit high intended for zero for Grayson Woods, and it's just – little out of his reach. But you were talking about the whistle a while ago, Avon. An advert, inadvertent whistle does stop the play, even if it's a mistake. Somebody sees something. But it's done, it's it. done. Yeah, so uh, that may have been a while ago, just an inadvertent. Now, I don't think they moved Bears the ball. in the same formation. Back under center. This time it's a handoff to the fullback. And he actually breaks a tackle. Yeah, but makes then we got the same guy from earlier, 23, Boone Morris. Yeah, so uh, also in the game, we've got uh, 68, uh, Corey Stanley, 
playing on the offensive line. And uh, in fact, Wilson is deep. They've got wide receivers. Uh, Third and eight. To the top, set back, back down here. Shotgun formation. Hmm. Something. Yeah. Now, number six for the Tigers is is looking like he wants to blitz, and then he backs off. So, uh, so we don't know if he's coming or not, but I think he's kind of coming. Good, good it's pass, good, right good there. catch. And it's going to be a little short of the first down by maybe a yard. That was number five of the Bears, Frank Sierra. Frank, you know we called his name a lot last year, and he's already we're calling it again this year. So, what is he now? He's a senior this year. Yeah. So, uh, a day. So the Bears are looking at from the 38 yard line a four two. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna call it fourth and one. Just what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Got to go for that. He's going. Yeah, I'm sure he is. We're lined up. Listen, back under center, I formation. And he Cooper carries the ball. He's met in the backfield. And he loses about a yard, maybe two. So Tigers are going to take over. Uh, we're 8:44 left in the second quarter. So the Bear defense is really going to have to. Uh, you like to dig in. They're going to have to dig in. So uh, we also have uh, playing defense number 25, Nathan Smith who also carried the ball some last week. Tigers got two wide receivers to the right. Ends it off the 10. And he's up the middle. middle. He runs to the right side and then cuts back toward the middle and right picks up. 25 yard. He picks up a first down. It's an 11-yard gain. So now there's a first down on the 25. Again, fast tempo. Two backs in the backfield. Wide receivers. And, and again, again, this time to your left. He rounds the corner untouched, and he is in for the score. So that was a 25-yard run by Dawson Witherspoon. And the Bear defense, uh, it's like they're trying to catch their breath right now. They're hurrying up for that kick. So I that's, that's going to give, if they make the extra point, that's going to give them a four lead and it's a low kick it is good so it's 21 for the tigers and seven for the bears and we're at 823 mark in the second quarter bears the only good thing right now avon is we get the ball back and we got lots of time. we've got time if we can get if we can go in and get uh, a touchdown uh, and an extra point. That narrows it to a possession game before half. All back after. Yes, because I think they won the toss and deferred. They'll start uh, the second half with. Very positive thing. You know, Mount Vernon is on a uh, a pretty good roll the last probably three years or so since Art Bryles was there. And they got they got good, and then they stayed good. Uh, so College coach? He was the Baylor coach at one time. So, Gladewater Bears uh, get the ball, kind of a diving, rolling catch. A uh, ball is going to be spotted on the 30-yard line. Gladewater. Uh, Actually, last time, last time it was a yeah. So, uh, so we only have seventy yards to go. You know, we used to say if you make them drive eighty yards, you're probably gonna make a mistake somewhere. If you're not score <laughs> seventy gives you less yardage to make a mistake. Still a long drive. So, um, also on the line we've got Carl Sheffield. Oh. 
Oh, he's got a little room. Does Cooper look. has a little room. He cuts oh. it back, he turns it up, and he's going to have – he's going to be good about for a first 40, down. That's about an 11-yard gain. 40 or 41. That was so, good good job. Uh, and the Tigers are putting a little pressure on from the end, and he just uh, – Cooper just cut under it, made a good run, broke it back out, and then changed direction one more time. Picked up about Y'all recommend them to stop that moment, even though they know that someone's dead ahead? It, you know, it just depends how good their peripheral vision is and, and how good they can cut. You know, armchair quarterbacks are like, why did you stop? I know, I know. <laughs> so, first and ten. Looking. And let's see. That did considered he catch caught? It? No, he's saying incomplete. So, Wilson throws it out to Number two. Carter Snyder. And it's a low throw, and I don't think he could pull it up off the ground. But he did. He hit the target, but it's just too low to catch. So uh, that'll bring us a second and ten. And uh, oh, got the play from Coach Levere. A lot of these other teams, about half in the all that quick tempo, like you mentioned before, is that just becoming the standard? Just depends on what they run, you know. So this time, uh, Cooper, again, 21, I'll tell you what, he's got like the whole team after him. Cooper, <laughs> he's seeing these guys come and he's making his cut, uh, and he's got another first down. Uh, Landon Porter, number 51, is also in there blocking, but uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's uh. They're lined up deep. You look at how deep Cooper, number 20, lined up from the and I, and I promise you it's going to be 8 or 10 yards. It's a lot of I-formation teams that tailback. I've never seen them less than 7 yards. And so he's – to give him so much extra – He's lined up about 8 yards deep wow. right now. Wow. And so – and now he's throwing. Oh, Ooh. number four, uh, Cade – Cade Monroe, he uh, knocks that down. No chance of an interception, but uh, uh, if we would have caught that, he probably makes a first down. But, uh, you know, I, I can remember one night, um, well, actually, Coach Bird told me this story, so I'm going to tell a <laughs> Big Bird story. Big Bird. But uh, we were playing somebody that, that was an eye formation team, and their tailback was about eight yards deep. And all night long, Coach Murphy, Little Jack, was keeping stats for us, you know. So, uh, i call this play here. So, again, it's a handoff to Cooper. He breaks three tackles. And he had a lot of steam going. And he's he's up to, that's about a four-yard gain, five yards. Isn't the rules that if your helmet comes off, you got to go up? I think so. You got to go off, put it on. And, but anyway, so... Coach Murphy is saying, Vic, he's killing us. He's making yardage every – he's making eight or nine yards every time he carries the ball. And so uh, he uh, – at halftime, Little Jack comes up, and uh, and he – Coach Murphy says, how many yards does that tailback have? He said, just a minute, Daddy, I'm figuring it up. <laughs> and and it, while I'm talking, Gladewater makes a good oh run. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Jeremiah uh, Flanagan did some incredible moves out yeah, there. Yeah, Flanagan comes in, and uh, he picks up the first down. So, anyway, he says, hang on a minute, Dad. I'm figuring it up. And when he figured it up, he said, he's got seven yards. And he said, what? And Jack told, and Vic told Jack, he said, Coach, he's lined up eight yards deep. He's not making anything. But he can run seven yards and still lose a yard. <laughs> so uh, I think one – I don't know if it was that night or another night, Coach Murphy told uh, Vic, he said, if they if they cross the 50-yard line, I'm firing you. <laughs> and there was a penalty, and they got across the 50, and, and Vic looked at him, and Jack said, that one doesn't count. <laughs> so anyway, well, Gladewater just throws an incomplete pass, and uh, – Second down and 10. So second and 10, we are now on our uh, on the Tiger 35-yard line. 
And it looks like a running set, and sure enough, it is. Oh, but my goodness. There he goes. 28 again. I'm telling you, he is he's hitting up in there hard. So, anyway. Uh, Playing again, though. Yeah, the Bears are, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of on a roll right now. So, uh, that brings up a first and down. We're at 527, and the clock is running. We're on the 25-yard line, left hash. Wilson and Woods come in. Woods is going to be split to the right side at the top of your screen. We've got tight ends and running backs, I formation. And he's going to hand it off to Cooper. Cooper picks up, I'm going to call it four or five. Depends where they spot it. It's at least a four-yard gain off the right tackle. Four yards. Correct, Sam. So that brings up a second and six down to 449 on Third the clock. They're showing second on the and on the down mark. They're wrong. They're all wrong. Huh. So Bears now, same formation. Flip the wide receiver. And it's Cooper. This time he's he's going to make about a yard or two. Like a two-yard gain. And that's going to bring a third and three or four. Call it. Call it four. So uh, nine comes to the sideline. Chico, and that gives us uh, Woods and I think Henderson, Latrell. Who's that on the, this side guy, number seven? That's side line, okay. No, three. Three, okay, that's JT Maddox. Quarterback keeper. And he makes maybe a yard. So here we are, 338, clock running. Might be a good time for a timeout. Uh, stop the clock and see what you want to do. So still running at 328. Ball is on the 20. It'll be fourth and five. So what are you going to do? You're going to try to get a first. You're not going to punt it, but you might try to kick a field goal. I don't know. Field goal person, so I would want field goal. So uh, looks like he's calling the play we're down to 304 now they take a timeout hope they get another one in it um they i don't know <laughs> i don't know if ncaa does that or but uh but this was a good time to take one because now you've got a little time to figure out if you're going to go for it what player you're going to run and then if you're not uh uh, you, know, you need, and, and, and it's kind of a tough call because it's four to five. So, but you, <laughs> you, you want to make at least five and get a first because you still got enough time at 302, the clock stopped, and, and I think you got another timeout left too that uh, you can figure it out and take your time. You're not going to be rushed, the clock not continuously. So, uh, but do you do you just try to go for five or do you try to go for six? And and I'm not talking about yards there. I'm talking right. about points. So if you get if you get a touchdown, kick your extra point, you're you're roughly you know a little under three minutes uh, if you do it on this play. But, Plus, if you did, would you go for the two? Um, as of happened. On, on the plus side of doing that, you carry momentum in at halftime. Downside, you're going to have to go for two later if you don't make it. So, you know, but I always say if you go for two every time and make half of them, that's as good as extra <laughs> point. So they're going for it. They got wide receivers, two to the right, one to the left. Wilson's throwing, and he throws it out to Maddox. And I think he's going to be about a yard short. Let's see where they spot it. He's spotting it right on that 20, I mean, 15 yard line. It may be. Let's see what they do. They may measure I this. Don't know. He spotted Very it. Close. He spotted it on the 15. 
Now the the Mount well, Vernon coaches they want to measure it. Blaywater coaches they they think it's good. Ref already gave up the first down signal. Went up top. They've got it right on the line and that it down is. mark. Yeah, oh, yep, they it's moved first the down. Chains, Sam. So that was a great call and a great play, ooh, ooh. throw and catch to get five yards and a first down. <laughs> there you go. So that answers our question, what he's going to do. <laughs> he threw it for five. So now we've got a wide receiver to the bottom, and it looks like a run. And they, I tell you what, they've got to stop those guys. He was met. He didn't even make it back to the line. There were three of them. Yeah. So they are – they're either whipping us up at the – in the trenches right now or they're doing a good job of knowing what we're doing. But either way, it's not favorable to the Bears. Now, we can still – we're down to 209 and running. And now it's second and 12, but we can still make a first down inside the five. Five yard line is where we've got to go for the first. I say if you're going to the five, go on. Back looking to pass. Oh. All right. That was intended for is that number eight out there? Zero. It's hard to tell when all you see is the side of one. Zero. Yeah, so that is Grayson Woods, and he was just overthrown. But that does stop the clock with one fifty one. He passed. Now it's still third and 13 from the 17, 18. I'm thinking of the pass right now. Wilson runs the ball and he gets up to about the 11, 12 maybe. Let's see where they spot it. Clock is. Now they're running the clock. The clock had stopped. I don't know if it didn't start up. They're trying to run it. There you go. Down to 147. Fourth and 10. Well, to it's, it's, actually, it's actually fourth and about six. Oh, they're saying six. seven now. Yeah, seven. They're calling it. My eyes are dead. <laughs> hey, you got to start My far off vision is really good. So we uh, go again. And it is a touchdown. Yes, sir. So he throws it to the left again to Brayson Woods. He tried him about three times in a row, and it finally paid off. And he still has the ball. <laughs> and so uh, he catches the ball. That makes the Bears 13. So, so the scenario so far we go. is, is what we got to do. And, uh, and I'm sure. I believe they're going to kick it at 15. And, and I think I would. You got momentum. You. You're going in with momentum, whether you're tied up one if you go for two. But uh, so we got uh, Grafton Morgan kick. Falls down and it's blocked. He ends up with it. So hmm. it's going to be 21 20. I mean, 21 uh, 13. With we got a minute twenty three left in this half, so it, you don't want that block right there. But that means at some point you got to get a field goal or you got to go for two. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't change the possession. It's still a one possession game. Right. That but you got to get you got to get a two point. Got to make sure to hold. Yeah. So they're gonna kick to. Tigers, 23 left in this section. You don't pooch it here, right? Send it sailing. You know, and and I don't want to second guess or and somebody say, well, you're you're saying you would your rear did. I don't go to practice every day. That's true. But, but I would probably, if I had a guy that could kick deep, I would probably kick it deeper in that area where it's got a rope bit and you buy some time. I don't think I'd kick it right. The clock up or I'd now. kick it. They had to fair catch it, but I want them to have to go. And I want them, we're, we're down to one. But, you know, if you kick a pooch and you get it, that's a big. They kick a little deeper. And he Somebody fields it at the 21. 
And he's missed. He's grabbed he's like wrapped uh, up uh, now stairs. inside the 30. And I couldn't see who all tackled. Number him. seven and number three. Uh, Latrell Henderson was one, and JT Maddox. JT Maddox. Was one. There's about two or three others. But they are going to spot the ball on the knee just inside the 29 yard line. So that's a better kick. So you were, you're asking good questions, Avon. <laughs> No, I'm not the big ball. Well, Avon, I tell you what, uh, let's look back two years and uh, no, two years worth of learning has gone on. It has. So you're doing good. And the main thing is we have fun. Oh, absolutely. So Mount Vernon takes over. Number seven is back in the game. He's going to throw, him. yes. Throws deep and uh, oh, oh, he had his hands on that and one. That was uh, Jackson Cook. Almost wow, intercepted he did a one. super stretch. I mean, he laid up for that ball and just it was just a little out of his reach. He over he was overthrown. From what I could tell, he actually had both hands on it, just yeah. not strong enough. So that brings up a second and ten with one nine that stopped the clock on incomplete. They hand it number to number 10. 10, and that worries me. Oh, I'm telling you, that, 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 that was bear number 12 that stopped him that time, Sam. I'm telling that you, is. Witherspoon. Jackson he, Cook. He's he's fast. He's got good vision, and he's tough. And he broke about three tackles by himself. So that moves the ball up to about the 43, first and 10, 58 points. Seconds left. Now they're going to run him 10, again up the right middle. Up the center. And he's hit by about three guys. 25, 22. So, 21, but he lost so his helmet Nathan again. Nathan Smith and Travian Watts. And uh, he makes almost a down. Balls across midfield. They're going to run him but again. Pace. Oh, and he slips. He's met at Ooh. the line. He's not going to make the – well, oh, oh, oh. he is. They're going to give him – I saw forward. the ball lose for a second. Yeah, they're going to give him forward progress, and that's going to be a first down if they spot it where this guy's standing. And that's going to be on the six-yard line. On the timeout. Okay, so we're exactly at 32 seconds left. There's a new set of downs for the Tigers. Ball is on the 37-yard line, 36-yard line, and they've got a first and 10. That's the four. <laughs> looking where one official was standing, call, I mean, I'm looking at the ball and calling where the other official stand. My bad. It's fine. I've, I suspect it. Oh. We'll look at it when we come back from half. Uh, we're, the ball's on the 46, Gladewater's 46-yard line. They've got 32 seconds to try to score. They would love to score the half. Love to stop. And we would love to stop them. And I would say get a turn. Nothing like a good stop on drive. Definitely. Put uh, and, and I'm going to guess just because of the distance. Look at the – up top two at the bottom. Yeah. I'm thinking a throw somewhere. Right now. He is. 18, I, oh. think. I think that's Boogie Mitchell. That is correct, number 14. So he gets a first down. They're up to 30. Line is with Stay, still on the left hash. So, called another timeout, Sam. Yeah, they're you, they're managing their clock. We're down to twenty four eight seconds, and uh, the clock should start. How many snap. yards do you think that they got on that? One? They they were on the six, uh, so they got about four. For their thing, plays like that. But now they've only got one more. Yeah. 4.8. Uh, I'm sure the Bears are going to line up uh, and 
you know, they're kind of in a dilemma. You don't want to get beat, beat, but you don't want to beat. They can catch it running the ball. The guy runs the ball, breaks past the line. You don't want him to have a lot of room. Long no. runner. Uh, sure, I wouldn't want to throw it. They may throw. They've got two wide receivers and a lot of room. Backs in the backfield. Oh, he fakes. fakes it. Got some bears after him. He, he tosses throws it. it to number 10. And he makes a Wave run the clock. Why did they stop it? Uh, did he? Hold a timeout again. Well, that has to be his last timeout. Yeah, that's it. So we're down to 14 points. Um, it was not quite a first. No, sir. They haven't changed. There it goes. So, uh, second down, nine yard change. But he faked it to uh, running back number 10. Then he ended up throwing. And, uh, Had some heat from bear number. I saw 34. Beyond Patton. Yeah. He, he, was, he was putting some heat on it. Bears in kind of an even. Inside, you're definitely missing great weather. 79 degrees, that's pretty. Yeah, so one running back, deep, back deep, two wide receivers on each side. How this set. Blitzing, short throw. Oh, 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 we oh, got him, great, number 15. That's the game, tackle. that's not the game, but that's. So, number uh, 11. Buzzer's about to buzz. Luke Brown makes a great open Didn't field get it. tackle. Didn't get it. Time ran out. So, uh, Mount Vernon Tigers down inside the 30, and their drive stalls on a couple of great plays. Uh, and, and great bear defense. Tackles. Yeah, so Gladewater stepped it up for, uh, to just stay one possession down. So, everybody will go in and rest and regroup and figure out what they can you do. get it coming in. And we get the ball coming back, and we should be headed north again, coming out, and uh, and in the south end again. So uh, we are going to let y'all listen to the band and watch them march, both bands. And we're going to take a break, and then we'll be back for the start of the game. And uh, y'all stay with us.
And now, for your half hour of payments, we provide and present the roar of Mount Vernon, the 2023 Melody Hot Band. The neighbors in the field are not here, young neighbors, just in the Now, the subs are all the same. The director is here, not the top of the table, and you have the best in the world. And she's the man who's the best in the world. And then we're going to share the topic here. The talent is expected by the business, just a little while. The section of the world is perfect, and we all have a section of the world. Majors, is your band ready? You may begin your half-time performance. <laughs>
our trunk is disabled, or our comms got wondered, we have to listen to the public, how I it's going, down there in foods, this town never built us, they have Chevrolet, this is very natural, you are on the road, the town that lets out its time, now that you want to make it, you have to select it, to play the game, very well to be your home, the direct factory, then while we wait there on the grass, they have great station left and these steps in. Thank you, dear, for your continued support and the leaf department not going as high as you.
The band will now continue the past on the entertainment of the traditional military style marching drill for the DC Center of Martinia and Project March Bobby. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back for the second half. Blackwater will be receiving And in the fourth quarter, they'll be defending South. So again, 13 to 21 in favor of the Mount Vernon Tigers. And uh, we're here ready to go. I hope y'all enjoyed the band. I went down outside and watched a little bit, and it was good. Here's the kick. High short kick, and it's not a fair catch. He catches it and makes about four yards. And the Bears will start their drive on the 30, where the spot is, 34 maybe, 33 or four, we'll see, 33 yard line. So right hash, and we'll see what kind of adjustments the teams have made and uh, who can hang in there. Uh, it is a lot cooler outside, Avon. Oh, it, 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 last real. week at this time, my shirt was pretty wet with sweat. And even going down there and visiting halftime, I didn't sweat a bit. Oh, my goodness. What a play. I missed it all together. By the time Man, I that is, uh, let's see. Yes. That's about a 20-something yard gain. Uh, and he threw that ball to JT Maddox. And, and I don't know if he bobbled it or what, but uh, he, he didn't get to throw it exactly when he wanted. He got it, and he threw, he threw a strike to him in a nice game. So, Gladewater starts out with a, a good first play for the second half. Oh, he's got some Look room. That. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that was uh, 21 Cooper. Cooper. Carson Cooper made a made a really nice run. Just ran by one guy, bent it out to the toward the sideline, got around one blocker, and I think just got tripped up on on the guy's the blocker's feet or somebody. But anyway, uh, another first down. So two two plays, two first downs. That's a good deal. So now we've got uh, I formation again. And they're running to the Cooper slot again. side. Cooper. Oh, he's still lunged full. He's, he's got another five-yard gain right there. So Cooper um, doing well. And uh, um, Cason Harris in there helping out a little bit as a uh, – I think he lined up as kind of a tight wing. Yeah tight end up there so uh they're in the power eye formation this time for again oh he's gonna go outside he's he may score he is turning the power he is on. in he is in great run he tried to hit that off tackle that hole kind of sealed up and he just kind of made a made a sweep out of it well that tightened up and and outran a couple of kids and i'm telling you uh that was really a, uh, a nice run on uh, Carson Cooper's behalf with some, some people stayed with their blocks longer and held up the pursuit, and he ran it right into the end zone. So that, That's because of the half hawks that you Well, uh, I'm sure their adjustments uh, – good. Now let's see if they can block one of those three guys coming off the side. Three guys up top. Yeah, that's a good kick. Is good. So that uh, that leaves us out of a 12-minute quarter. We're down to 10:26, so a little over a minute and a half. 
and the Bears put on a drive, a short drive. I mean, the drive was long yardage wise, but number of plays, it wasn't. Oh. It wasn't like a twelve play drive. It was like a four play drive, I think. And uh, that brings them to within one point. So, Tigers still have the lead at twenty one. But the Bears responding very positively to start the second half with the opening drive. So 21 for the Tigers, 20 for the Bears, and uh, uh, it's a one-point game. So Bears will now kick to the Mount Vernon Tigers, and uh, we'll see if the defense made good adjustments. Hopefully so, Sam. You know, I mean, I've, we've seen some of those after halftime. Just oh, yeah. Turns around. It's like turning off a water spigot. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we'll see. So, again, there's the kick, and it's a short kick. And the guy slides under it to catch it at the 31-yard line. And I think one of the things they like about that, Avon, is they really don't have a chance to return it. So they're, they'll give up some yards to keep from giving up a big play, which, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's – Depending on what your personnel is, that may be the best thing you can do. Yes, they may not have done that. So. <laughs> yeah, because it's showing Gladewater with only one, but they did reset the one for the Tigers. So Tigers take the ball. There's a snap he wants to throw. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. -wee. That was number zero. That was number 10 with the ball. So Thought That was Bear number zero. Oh, yes. Grayson Woods. So uh, they throw to, to uh, Witherspoon out of the backfield, a little swing pass, and he is hit right the in the chest immediately, and that is a, about a five-yard loss. Ends it off to Witherspoon. And he's up the middle again in some open. 36 wrapped up his legs and then 22 of the Bears. That's Travian Watts coming up with a nice hit. Um, that brings them back maybe a yard past the original line of scrimmage. So they've got two wide receivers toward the, the top of your screen. They're going to have three receivers over there now if number two stays over there. Number seven. Is back at quarterback, uh, K. George. Number 10, still at running back. Up and stop. And so, and that is a short completion. Uh, bears are all and over the Bears there. are there, there, and it's about a, another, I'm going to call it another three yard gain. That was some, that was of the Tigers, that was number. So now that, that brought him back to a, uh, a fourth and five, it looks like. And they're in a punt formation. Bears have one receiver deep, two safeties back, and they're going to make sure it's a kick, and the kick is off. Kind of lost it in the lights. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, our, our returner... Now, I know what he did, uh, Travian Watts. He did fall on the ball and kept it from rolling and getting us in a hole. But if he misses it, he can't get it back, and there's two guys around him. So, But he didn't. He, he did a good job. But, you know, you'd rather them just never touch it. You'd rather them stay away from that. But, uh, but if you're going to do that, do it like he did it and make sure you keep it. So, Bears at the 30, uh, they have – Snyder lit up to the top. I formation. That is a different running back. That is number twenty-five. Well, that's Smith. Um, Nathan, and and he was in there, and and he had a series of good runs early in the first half. Uh, at, when Carwin uh, Cooper was taken, or Carson Carwin is his dad. Hey, Flanagan was who? Oh yeah, but uh, I've seen twenty-five too. He's been in Smith. Has been in too, so he's he's in there some. Arson. Oh, that's that's the free play maybe. 
but we don't get anything because they're offsides. If they called it, they may not have called it. Oh no, they, they did. Offside. Yeah, so we're going to get five. So it's going to be close. It may be a first down. It's going to be close. Oh, he's going to look at it. They're going to have to. He's signaling first down. Maybe they're they hadn't moved the chains yet. They got. They better hold them up. Yep, move yeah. the chains. He's thing. telling them to move. Oh, wait. Yeah, yes, they're moving. Yeah. All right. So that's a first down on a five-yard penalty. So now we're back in the eye. And they, they kind of shut us down there. We made a yard. Uh, and again, that's uh, Nathan Smith. Um, so they're still getting still getting some penetration, but uh, we're, we're going inside and underneath. So, uh, uh, and then, of course, uh, we did slip outside of that penetration one time, too. So. So again, two wide receivers, eye formation, bobbled snap. He's going to throw to the right side. And I believe no call on that. So it's hard to tell. They were on the far sideline at the 25, 20-yard line. And uh, my binoculars are sitting here looking at me like, <laughs> like, you like I could have helped you. <laughs> and uh, But it was good defense. Uh and the ball was well thrown. I mean, it was right. So, uh, so incomplete. That's going to bring a third and nine. And so the Bears have two receivers to the home side. High formation. Oh, that one. That one is going to be back to the line of scrimmage on forward progress. And uh, Sheffield. Number 56 for us, Sheffield, was hitting his helmet like maybe he missed a block or something. I'm not sure. So that's fourth down and nine from, from our own 41, and we are in punt formation. So a timeout and uh, – I think it's the Bears out, but showing we have time out left. Oh, they have. Oh, there they are. Yeah. They'll get it. Yeah. So the. Um, All right, we're going. Here we go. All right, so, and that's almost blocked, but he gets a good kickoff, uh, not getting a good roll. There, finally gets a little bare roll. Down inside the 30 to about the 32 or 28-yard line, and maybe. Looks like they're going to spot it on a 7. So, Tigers take over, 27-yard line, right hash mark. Offense comes on the field. Seven still at quarterback. Fifteen, um, Jack Skelton, wide receiver on this side. They have two up top. And it is a Open handoff. And he breaks through the line. 22 kind of corralled him, Travian Watts, and just hung on. And that's enough for a first down. So ball is now is up better. to the forty one yard line. And uh twins to this side, split receiver to the top. And, and the off. Witherspoon and, and he is met some. he stuffed that not stuffed, but he only made about I'm saying three yards. 
Collins. So that brings up a second 10, but it's not second. Getting about seven. They call it. Help again. He is met in the backfield and just, I don't think he makes it to the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be third and about seven. Um, and they, they are. Pretty consistent in their formations, Avon. They are having typically two wide receivers to one side and a single wide receiver to the other side, hoping they can draw that one on coverage. It depends if we're man or zone. So same formation. And he's throwing to number 10. Number 10, again. Oh, no, that is a good tackle. Now the, Number 11 of the Bears, Luke Brown, he, grabbed a hold and would not let go. He hit him with some force and kind of stopped him. And as, as uh, Witherspoon tried to go on, he just held on and they went down. So, made a first down, but it wasn't a big play. Right. Off the whip. And he gets about three, I think three yards, maybe two. Oh, oh, they're again, they're in the hurry up offense. And again, right up the he's got a little game. room. 36. Collins, Tristan Collins was holding on. So again, he makes a few yards, makes about five, six yards on that play. Going to be third and one. They give it to him again, again, and he does not make it. This time, he 11, loses. And our number nine. So Luke Brown and Landon Brown are in on that tackle, and our number nine is Joby Shiko, and he lost a yard. So it's going to be fourth and two from the Bear 40-yard line. We'll see what they're going to do, but it looks like they're going to they're in four-down territory. I don't see. They're going to. Yeah, that one. So we've got two receivers to the bottom and a tight slot, a wing back up there, and a split in, and they give it ten. to ten again. Boom. And it is close. Ooh, that is. We're gonna uh, have to see how what. Again, it's like a lot of times it depends on the oh, spot. They're saying move the chains. So he made it. Wasn't by much, but you know, it only has to be by an inch. That's a. So, new set of downs inside the 40 on the 38-yard line. We're down to 319 in this third quarter. And he's running wide, running the sweep. And um, who made that tackle? 30 what? Either uh, Dion Patton, I don't know if it was 34, 32, 30 something. I'm going to try to see his number. It says 34, but I don't have. Oh, here it is. Dion Patton. It was. Just right. So um, that brings a new set of downs, first and 10. The ball is spotted on the 18 yard line. And uh, the Bears. Uh, Getting some encouragement from their defensive coaches, from everybody, really, and uh, we're we're really uh, trying to get to a point where we can stop them. Um, and I'm telling you, Witherspoon is just such a strong and quick back. Very seldom tonight have we seen him tackled by one person. You're you're not gonna you're not gonna get him down with one. And if you give him half a step, you may not get him down at all. He's really a good back. And and they're utilizing him in a very good way. So here we are. Uh we've got two wide receivers to the home side, same formation they've been in. And it's a handoff it and he's running wide to the right. And he's finally twenty two thirty six. 
three. So Attic. Tristan Collins, um, Ravian Watts, and JT Maddox all in on that stop, but it's now inside the 10. And they still can make a first. And no, what they call a holding? Uh, we holding, yeah, <laughs> holding call. Now we're both <laughs> with Eckler's on yeah. the wide view. So that brings it back. Um, so now, same formation. Their defense changes up a little bit. Snap, and Same they're running the 10 up the middle, and he stopped at the 20 yard line. Uh, number 11, Luke Brown. So they're still over 10. This is uh, second and about, I'm going to call it 13. They're trying to hurry up. We're down to 205. Oh, oh, what a play. Quick. That was number 13 of the Bears, Jackson Cook. What a play. Who was that? Number Jackson three. Cook. 13. Oh, I'm sorry. I said 13. Yes. Clayton. Chindarlis. Chindarlis. Right on top of him. Apologies. For oh, that's okay. Can go back again. So third and a lot now, and they, oh, oh, they throw it, you. and it's completed. Oh, my goodness. He's inside the five. That was number 14 of the Tigers, Boogie Mitchell. So Boogie makes a, a nice catch across the middle off the oh. fake to uh, Witherspoon, and uh, they hurry up again, and he the gets 10. the ball, and he is – He's in, I think. Oh, nobody's signaling touchdown. He didn't make it. So the ball is it. It's it's right on the on one the inch line. <laughs> so the clock is running. Forty six seconds left. <laughs> They're lined up. Same formation. And they give it to him up the middle, and he goes in, not untouched, but standing up. So that's going to be 27 to 20 with 39.8 seconds left in the third quarter. So they're lined up for the kick number two, uh, Mitchell. It's holding. Oh, and it's a bad snap. But he still gets it. Great, great job uh, by the holder. Uh, you know, we tell you we root for the Bears, but that yeah. that snap was on the ground, and and their holder did a great job of of just scooping it up like a shortstop and getting it on the tee. And it was a low kick. We almost blocked it, but uh, we should have blocked that one. You know, so that that gets us twenty eight twenty. And so basically. <laughs> Uh, each each team scored in this third quarter, and uh, it's still a one possession game. But we, at some somewhere in there, the Bears got to make up that other point, or they got to miss one. Uh, however, we can make it up. We almost had that. Miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was close. So uh, Bears lined up to receive. We got thirty nine point eight seconds, and. Uh, They'll, uh, they may get to run one play before the uh, half, before the quarter changes, yeah. But uh, Bears really still in the thick of this right now, uh, playing a great third quarter. Probably the best best ball they've played for a quarter tonight. Was, and then they started, remember that first, second play? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we will uh, – we will see how they can how they can hold up. I've I've seen no cramps tonight, but it's much cooler than it was. A short high kick, fair catch, and the Bears have it on about the 32 again. And uh, so they've kicked the last couple times to the same guy. And uh, Bears will take over. 
ball is uh, on the right at the 32, over on the right hash mark. So, uh, Coach Revere talking to the offense. Uh, Cooper not in at running back on this series, but uh, this time we've got Flanagan back in there. So had a good uh, good series with him in the uh, first quarter, second quarter, second quarter. Oh, they they got a lot of penetration. I don't. They did. They, they grabbed the leg and wouldn't let go. So we. Uh, Bears did not make it back to the original line of scrimmage. They lost maybe two. The second and 12. So uh, Sierra coming in and Carter Snyder coming in for Bears. Got two wide receivers, an eye formation. He's throwing. It's a high pass, but it's caught. But he's tackled, and it's for about a... It's about a three-yard gain. Number two, Snyder. Yes. Pull out some. It's interesting being in a booth next to. <laughs> what would be really interesting would be if we were between. Oh my gosh, the two sets terrible. of coaches. <laughs> It'd be hard for us to call the game. It, it would be. So that brings us quarter change. And uh, and we figured we, we'd get a couple plays, which we did. So it's going to be uh, third and nine. And uh, again, the fourth quarter, 28 for the Tigers, 20 for the Bears. And uh, again, it, it's a much cooler night than we had last week. And... Uh, and we started 30 minutes later, too, on a cooler night. So uh, it appears to, that, you know, both teams are in enough shape. Everybody's holding up. I've seen no muscle cramps or they going down holding legs. So uh, this will be the fourth quarter. And so really what it comes down to, we got to win the fourth quarter by at least, we got to score at least eight points. And then that would get us overtime. Oh, them from exactly. So Bears have a third and nine, and now we're back deep. Keep it, and Wilson keeps it, and he gets about four or five yards. They're going to spot him on the thirty-six. So it's still going to be a fourth down and six, it looks like. They're calling it six. I agree with that one. And so fourth and six, and uh, we are in an I formation. They are blitzing. It happen very often. Back under. No, they've been doing that most of the night on a. But he's been he's been back deep and under center. But we tried the long count; they didn't jump. They jump. They've had a couple of five yarders. Oh no! Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass to number zero, uh, Bryson Woods. And so the ball is going to go over, and. Uh, that one was just thrown a little short. He couldn't come back for it. Of course, you never know if they ran the route right or it was underthrown, overthrown. I mean, you don't know. But uh, we're down to 11.50. And uh, looks like. Awesome. Number So they're getting ready to the ball over. They haven't had the timeouts, extra timeouts like the 
commercial timeouts they did last that, week. Right. That Looks weather. like they're letting the game just progress at its natural pace tonight because it is much cooler. So, Tigers with the ball, and they snap it deep. They hand it to number 10, and he is met behind the line. Number 9 and 36 of the bench. So, number 9 is Joby Chico. 36 is Tristan Collins. And we've called Tristan. We've called both those guys' names tonight. So. so, same formation. They're not switching their formation. Two wide receivers into their bench, one toward ours. One back and the quarterback deep, and then a setback kind of splitting the difference. Right? He can block like a tight end if they Now he's staying in. Oh. So, that pass was intended... Like number 15, Tigers. And that is Jack Skelton. Thrown a little high, gets his hands on it, but can't reel it in. So that will stop the clock at 11 11. Brings up a third and still 12 for the Tigers. So now they got two wide receivers on both sides. No blocking back, so I'm thinking it's going to be just hand it off. And nope, nope, he throws it, and he throws the same, tries the same pass. A different it looks receiver like. this time. It yes. was number two, Mitchell Newsair. And this one is thrown ahead and low. So yes, so that brings up a fourth and uh, twelve still, and uh, let's see, they they keep the. Number 15, and it happened to quick, quick huddle. Oh. Yeah, they're caught, they're staying lined up. They're not changing formations except moving one guy, and then they're uh, they're calling it from the sideline. That pass is completed inside the 20. That was number two. At number 12 and our 20. 12 so big play, big play for the Tigers. That moves them down almost to the 10. They're inside the 15. First and 10. And uh, up Bears. Okay, good, good place for a timeout, too. In the fourth quarter, uh, defense is just. They've had thrown at you three or four times in a row. So you need a little, give them a little breather here. So the ball is on the 14-yard line, right hash mark. They, they've they they've had a, a, a running back. He may be a tight end, but he lines up in the backfield off the line of scrimmage, but he'll line up kind of where that tight end lines up or right behind the tackle. So when they throw, he can block like a, linemen or they move him out to where they have two wide receivers on the side he can they can sub or keep him in there and they can they can when it's been yeah yeah so they're really changing their formation by moving one guy and they go two receivers right and one left or two on each way but they lose a blocking back uh, when they do that but they gain a receiver and if they're throwing quick timed routes, it doesn't matter. Now, back to two receivers on each side. Back deep, 10 deep, and they quick. To quick two again. And they get him. He got. He gets about a four. Our number seven, Oh Henderson. So they made about, call that four yards. Now, number two's coming out here with them. Now they've got the back. See, number 80. Number 80 for them is Tyler Reynolds. Now they can run, he can block, or he can be a receiver. Blocking for. Yes. So, so do you see how they can use him to change the formation? I mean, move one guy. Now Now they got three receivers or a blocker with still two receivers. That time he was a blocker. He just didn't happen to get anybody because they read it and they got wide before he could get out there on them. 
So now he's same formation, but now they've moved a receiver over there. Now they they hand it off. But the Bears do a good job of stopping him, but it's probably going to be a first down inside the five. So 940 time. First down on the three-yard line. So they hand off to number 10, and he's in. So, um, that brings us to 9.28 left in the fourth quarter. And now we're a two-possession hmm. game. It's pretty tough. 9.28 left. So, Tigers to kick now, 33 kicking. And he pooches it in, and it's good. So, that's 35-20. With 9.28 left. So, Bladewater will now receive, and they need a couple things to happen. Number one, they need to score, but they we wouldn't turn it down if they scored in two plays. But they need to use some clock because they can't keep Mount Vernon at bay for nine more minutes, maybe without another. So, we need a we need a sustained drive, and if we serious deep, yes, and so we get get a sustained drive, get points out of it, and now it's a one possession game, and then somewhere in there we need a stop, and or a turnover, and another sustained drive. Yes, that's true. But we've seen the defense play tight, and we've seen them have too many gaps. So now we've got a return going, and uh, it gets about a 10-yard return. I'm trying to see who that is. That was Cooper, uh, Carson Cooper. So nice little return there instead of a fair catch. Gets us 10 yards closer. Well, that's all good. So now the Bears – need to have a drive and come out like they did in the first possession of the third quarter. They do that and and move that ball uh, 65 yards, we're in good shape. And if you do that, that might be the one you go on and go to on. So... One back. We throw in the little hitch route. They're they're covering it really well. We complete the pass, yeah. but we really we really don't make any yardage on it. Might have lost a yard, but the potential on that play to break one and go. I mean, if you can break it quick, then it's a foot right. Whoever's fastest, you either score or they catch you way down there close to the end zone. But somebody coming off looks hurt. Uh, can you see who that is? Is that number three? That's JT Maddox. Looks like he's holding his hand. All right. Let's see. All right. So, Bladewater has two wide receivers toward the home side, the right. Snap, and it's a handoff. I couldn't see who the back was. It's Cooper, some Cooper. He's met at the line. He didn't lose Jordan. He, he actually made a, made it back to the original line. So again, uh, Cooper stays in. He's the tailback. Snyder going back in the game. And Frank Sierra coming out. No, he's lined up wide. I'm sorry. So we, we've got shotgun formation. I'm telling you. Catch, I missed it. I'm all right. The, so the quarterback was about to get Carter Snyder 
Somehow, wow. Wilson gets steps up and gets the ball off in just a nanosecond left. And it was a very high snap. I have to go back and watch uh, that one. That Snyder so is triple covered. Triple covered. He goes up, catches the ball, and the Bears are now on the 32-yard line of the Tigers. That match. So, yeah, first down and gained a lot of yards. The hell of a catch. I'm not supposed to say it like that. <laughs> Heck of a, a catch. catch. Heck of a catch. <laughs> Throwing again. Oh, another throw. And it's another it's not, catch. Oh, my goodness. No, he's saying. What? Yes, he, like is. he did. He did call it. Feet were in. So, that was Sierra catching that ball, number five, Frank Sierra. So, we are now on the four-yard line. And uh, Very short amount. And what would you say? A couple plays make a lot of yards? Yeah. And uh, so it is kind of like the start of the third quarter again. So I formation, zero to the right. We hand it off, and oh, it's a touchdown. Going. So that is, who is Bears. that? That was Car Carson Cooper. Cooper, 21, runs the ball in just off the right, the right side of the line. That flexion. So now it's a 26. The 35 ball game. And let's see if the Bears are going to go for two here like we think. So, they are lined up to go for two. Let's see. We got one wide receiver running formation. He throws it. And are you serious? it is no catch. He dropped it falling out of the end zone. Couldn't hold on to it. Great play. So he's kind of slow getting up. Let's see what the deal is. Uh, that was a great it. effort, though. Yeah. We may have our first cramp where he got hurt. I don't know. He's still laying down there. Camera, they're not able to see it because it's motion. Right. So he's up now. Great. Coming back this way. And that was number 11, Luke Brown, the intended receiver there. Uh, and I, he went up, and I really just don't think he could hold it. I don't, it, but it, I mean, you're either going to catch that one and land in, or you catch it and miss it. Uh, but great effort, great, great effort. effort. That was, and uh, so we're 35 to 26. Get a lot of momentum from throwing the ball. I'm just why that's not option is dangerous risk factor. Well, higher. you know, it, it, uh, Daryl Royal, when he was coach at Texas, they ran the wishbone and they ran a lot. They seldom threw it. He said three things happen when you throw, and two of them are bad. <laughs> and so, uh, but we do throw, uh, and uh, and and we're aggressive, and we'll go for it on four. But uh, sometimes it helps you, and sometimes it hurts you. It just depends how good you can do what you do. Great effort, though. So we're doing an onside kick. My goodness. And it doesn't go far oh, enough. Awesome. Yeah. A low paint. Yeah, it, and it's it's because the ball didn't go ten yards and out of bounds. So they probably won't kick it over they'll probably just take it right but uh that's kind of when you do that onside kick need a turnover so uh right now is going to be kind of a turning point we're at 701 in the game we're down by nine points um and uh and if you if they score here, your odds get considerably worse to win the game. If you get a stop here, you got a shot. Now, they've got three wide receivers, but they've still got a running set to this side. And, it and that's where they go. Oh. And number 34 for the Bears broke through the line. Dion Patton got his hands on him and just couldn't hang on. Uh, and he was chasing him. But uh, he, he he really did a great job getting a shot at him. 
but you've got to stop that. Um, now I'm looking at the sizes of, of their line and uh, our guys probably are giving up a little bit to them size and weight, but uh, playing like we're bigger sometimes too. And they close that hole up. They stop him. And number 36. Pick. Yeah. Collins. And so, again, uh, now they've got, let's see their formation. All right, they're going to split the receivers up, two on each side. So they lose their blocking back. And part of that, Avon, I mean, we got to cover them so it spreads us out. But we're still, we still look pretty solid up in the middle. That's caught it. Yeah. And, and that's just a, a little hitch route, but you got that other guy blocking for you. So if you can beat one guy, he's got the other one blocked, you can run a while. But if you run back into the middle, you're running traffic so that's a gain of about five what they're what they're that telling me with 14 when they're saying you know seven in the box or something like that that means don't run it that means stow the ball of course, our guys know how many they got in the box, and they got to count, and they audible play. So if you got four in the box, they're going to run. You got seven in the box, they're going. So off the ten. Well, and I'm looking for who our guy was that initiated that tackle. He really did a good job. We call it skating, skating out there uh, with a blocker on you. But you just keep him on your inside and don't let him hook you. Get on your outside shoulder. But we've got one down out there. And I cannot see a number. Um, he's sitting up zero. So uh, Grayson Woods is down out there. Uh, but uh, I can't tell. He's kind of sitting up on his elbows a little bit. Cramp, maybe a turned ankle. It's hard to see what they do. Yep, they get him up. He's walking back under his own power. It looks, looks like maybe he had a, had a calf cramp. So that's maybe what the second one we've seen tonight. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, none in the, none in the first half. But... Uh, so we're at 432 left in the fourth quarter. It's 2635. And uh, Mount Vernon Tigers have the ball on the um, that ball spotted inside the 10 on the eight yard line, seven yard line with a second and two. So they can still make a first down. So this this has got to be a stop or a turnover to have a shot at this game, realistically. I know anything can happen. Definitely can. This way. Yep. Got up the center. Grabbed him. 52. Uh, Landon Brown. So, let's see. Is that a first down yet? <laughs> Everybody around us. Yeah, the, the coaches same next thing. to us, they're asking the same question. Is it a first down or funny. not? Kind of funny. We don't know yet. All right, it's third. They didn't. Yeah, all right. So now they got the down box move. Got the right down on it. So it's third and about one. Um, All right, so they are in a running set again. To me, it's a running set. And sure enough, they hand off to 10. He is stopped at about the three. He 36. But I think he got the first down. 
Yeah, I think he did. We'll see. Looks like their spot is going to be on the. Yeah. So now they've got still 14 and 2 to our sideline. One receiver up top. Number 80 is going to stay over here. So they're, and they're moving their receivers in. So the uh, little bit of jawing going on uh -oh. right there. 14 and, and one of ours. Uh, seven for us. Uh, Latrell Henderson. Them. Uh, Boogie Mitchell. We don't know what they were saying, but I don't think they were inviting <laughs> each other to church. <laughs> So, uh, so now we got two and fourteen and number eighty to our sideline, and then they've got one receiver to their sideline, and they've got uh, Witherspoon and their quarterback uh, number seven be in the backfield, and so they can run or throw out of this. It just they're going to oh, look at they're going to. Right now, they're looking at our defense. They're going to call the play that they think will hurt our defense. Um, I don't know. And they hand it off, and he goes untouched oh. up the middle. So, that's going to be... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Something's happening to him, I saw. Yeah, I Hello. see him. They're getting their guy away, and we're getting our guy back. Is there a flag? I see it now. Yellow on the end well, zone. We'll, we'll see which way they call it. But I hate to see those kinds of flags. Yeah, that's never good. Because it's usually a sportsmanship. And sport, right? Curious, you know, in the NFL, go back when they yeah, that are mocked up the whole game. Yeah, help stuff that have hear them yelling some not friendly to their opponents. <laughs> I can sure sometimes it's underneath your skin. So, I yeah. Yeah, I, I read a deal about Tom Brady. A guy uh, bumped him. Tom Brady goes, who are you? I've never even heard of you. <laughs> and you know he knew him. But, uh, <laughs> Probably, yeah. And then the guy asked him, say, who are you? He goes, oh. <laughs> well, there's all kinds of stuff like that. Because he didn't say, look, signatures are after, autographs are after. Yeah. All right, so... Mount Vernon is going to kick, uh, attempt their PAT. And if they make it, it'll be 42 to 26. And it looks Give it up for it looks good. Three. So, 42 to 26. And uh, I remembered the other thing I was going to do. Give some score. Our game has been moving so fast. Oh my gosh! Yes. We we haven't really had time to look at some of those. But while they're while they're lining up, uh, getting ready to kick off, there's 258 left in the fourth quarter. Bears are sitting at 26 points, and the Tigers are at 42. So the Bears have just under three minutes to try to come up with a few points. All right. So let me just flip down through that page i'm looking at the red zone red zone the red zone tyler legacy and tyler high tied at 14 white house is ahead of jacksonville 30 to 6 mount pleasant's beating sulfur springs 29 to 6 glendale is losing to pine tree 35 22 henderson losing to hallsville 28 20 at this time Lufkin all over Nacogdoches. Longview beat Mark 8 7. Right, let's get into some of these closer to us. Carthage 42 0 over Pittsburgh. Spring Hill getting beat 52 20 by center. Um, 
Chapel Hill beating Van 43 to 14. Deep kick that wow. time lands almost out of the end zone. Bears will get it on the 20. Uh, Jasper beating Palestine 29-24. Kilgore 7, Gilmer 17. Um, let's see who else we got. Dangerfield beating Tatum 34-17. That's final. And then uh, Wascombe beating Paul Pugh at 46. That one's still going. And the rest are a little further away from us. Uh, Troop beating Carlisle, uh, 4-2-7. Oh, the Bears got the ball. They hand it off to the quarterback. That was number 11. Luke Brown. It is. Number 11 quarterback. And uh, that handoff was to, uh, I think that's 20. Is that 22 in there? That's Flanagan, if it's... All right, Bears complete a pass. I see a flag coming in late. To Snyder. And uh, the pass... Like it would be close to good for empty against the Tigers. Like a 15 yard. So that puts the ball on the 50 for the first and 10 for the Bears with 216 left. Let's see what the Bears do. Maddox up at the top of your screen. Off to 28. It's still moving. He's running hard, but he just met a wall of about three white, uh, white helmet, Amaya white helmet Flanagan. players. You know. All right. So clock still running. We're down to 146. That is true. So. Uh, JT Maddox comes out. Five for them out of the game. Abraham. Guys. Yes. Okay. Tempted uh, just a fade route on the sideline. Zero. Grayson Woods, and it's just it's thrown high. He was double covered. The number five almost. Yeah. Aiden Goss. So we're at third down and 11 with 15 left to go. Clock stopped. Off again to number 28. And he's met at actually about a yard behind the line. They give him his for forward progress, and it's a yard loss. So that brings up a fourth and 11 with 105 and running. And uh, I'm going to say we're going. Oh, of course. That's a gutsy call, isn't it? <laughs> On my part. The 25-second clock. I see it down there. It's just not lit up. Neither one of them. Maybe they're not using it. All right, so it gets a little. All right, now he's throwing. Air it, oh, he airs it out. Oh, too far. Oh, he overthrows Grayson Woods. That will bring a uh, 33.7 seconds with uh, a little early celebration by the Tigers. They'll take over. I'm sure they'll probably just take a knee. Uh, Burn up. Maybe. We can't stop the clock. They'll burn up. Burn up 33.7 seconds and have a win. Did anybody hurt? Yeah. Take a knee twice. Because we can't stop it. So. <coughs> excuse me. 
if all that happens, Bears will have scored <clears throat> 26 and gave up 40 to what appears to be another good uh, Tiger team, Mount Vernon. Yep, you're taking knee. They're with the knee. And when they reset the pl the ball and the clock, they won't need to run another play. It's under 25 seconds, so that's going to be a, that's going to be a wrap in about 17 seconds. So um, one of the things we'll talk about next week, Avon, we're we are looking at the coaches or blade work. And uh, we have noticed that there are a lot of alumni, former players and graduates of Gladewater that are coaching at Gladewater. So that's one of the things we'll talk about next week. But um, anyway, uh, some of them are new first-year coaches, and some of them uh, I hired when I was principal, and they've been here a while. But uh, anyway, uh, that'll be a, a point, and, and – you got the players shaking hands. Everybody's behaving through the handshake line. So that's good. That's real. So that's what we like to see. And uh, uh, really, uh, not the way the Bears wanted it to end, but really a good ball game to watch. Uh, and I would say uh, Bears probably need to. I'd say they from last week what I saw to this week, they made a lot of a lot of progress offensively and defensively. But with a good running back like the Witherspoon young man, uh, they got to get better at tackling guys like that. So, uh, so one thing I will say for Gladewater, they never pad the schedule, preseason schedule with easy teams. Oh, never. And playing teams that are good like Dangerfield and Mount Vernon just make you a better team when you start district. So we're going to hang with the Bears. We're going to keep pulling for them. Encourage the kids and coaches when you see them. And uh, we really think there's going to be better days ahead. Bears are getting better, and they're going to get, get on that win column, but it wasn't tonight. So uh, how many did we end up with our, our viewers? Oh, it looks like we still have 54 at the moment, Sam. Let me see if I way back here. While Avon is doing that, uh, I'm going to just say this. You know, we, we had never been able to do a live stream because of the UIL, because they didn't want any teams to have an advantage from getting fit, whatever. COVID hit. Uh, Avon was instrumental in putting all this together. And so we did it during COVID, and uh, and we did just the home games, which is what we're still doing. But they've the district has graciously allowed us continue doing that as well as the UIL has allowed that and uh, we're in uh, what the year wow. is that right because we did COVID in the last two so this is the fourth year we've done that and uh, and we've upgraded equipment and the, the schools agreed to do that so we're really uh, we really like doing this and uh we hope y'all like hearing it too, but uh, we appreciate those that have tuned in. So what was our high number tonight? Our peak tonight was uh, 82 with an average about. Okay, so 80, 82 views, um, but stayed consistently at 51. I know some of you kind of come and go, but uh, anyway, tell your friends about it. If they can't come, it's really a good deal. People that can't make the game or people that are Gladewater fans that don't live close. So uh, just glad we can do it, and we're glad y'all are tuned. So we'll be back next week, uh, and I believe it's Spring Hill next week, isn't it? Uh, you know we got a program right in front of us. We'll look before we sign off, but I think it's, uh, I'm right, it's homecoming and uh, it is in homecoming. Spring Hill.
Okay. Uh, while, while you're looking, I'm going to look in this, this deal from the paper. Here we go. Oh. All right. So it is uh, September 8th. It'll be Spring Hill. It'll be our homecoming. It's a home game, and it is at 730. So we'll be back on the air next week at about 7.15 or so. Y'all tune in, and uh, we'll give you the play-by-play, -play and hopefully we'll walk away with a win against Spring Hill next week.